We're here in the Dry Tortugas, home of the healthiest and most remote reefs in the continental United States. Shortly after the spill, oil sheen made it all the way to the edge of the Dry Tortugas National Park. Fortunately, it appears that the tortugas have been spared large concentrations of oil or toxic dispersant moving through here. But there's still a real concern that smaller concentrations may be having some effects on the reefs of the tortugas. We are here with scientists from Nova Southeastern University looking at sponges, which are bioindicators. I'm a sponge biologist and we're looking at sponges in their natural habitat of coral reefs. Reefs are important because of their high biodiversity, a lot of different species. They're the rainforest of the seas. We're looking at the sponges here because they cover such a diversity of form, of growth, of ecology. They're short-lived ones, long-lived ones. Some of them may be the equivalent of the coral reef canary in the coal line. They can filter thousands of liters of seawater per day. Some species can. So sponges can be a type of bioindicator, accumulating substances in the water column. Interestingly, the BP oil spill and the consequent activities of dispersing the oil uh, might have made oil molecular or miniaturized it that might only be detectable by sponges. Uh, saving or preserving this Clyona sponge so that we can extract DNA later in the lab. Time will tell what the impacts will be on this area. The reefs here in the Tortugas and the Keys are just some of the areas that remain at risk as long as we continue to rely on offshore drilling in the Gulf of Mexico.